Hi, I'm Chris Hepp and one of the founders of Apta. Welcome to the tutorial number three, in which we explain how to use the composite spherical models. In tutorial number two, we explain that there are sintered spherical models and composite spherical models. And at the moment, we are developing the SMIS, which stands for Spherical Model Information System which belongs as well to the composite or sometimes also called pano models. Requirements for the spherical models posted on the Microsoft Photosynth website are a PC with a Microsoft operation system and for Macs you need an operation system higher than 10.5. You also need silver light and an internet connection of course, the faster, the better. And it seems that the spherical models posted on Photosynth uh, works best with Internet Explorer as browser. For the Smiths, you don't need Internet access to open them, which makes them quite handy if you work in the field. But more about the Smiths in tutorial number four. Okay, let's start. You open a browser window, you type in www.apta.org. Press enter and you're on the website of APTA. As you can see, we posted a lot of information. Uh, just if you have time enough, click through it. It's quite interesting, we think so. For us, interesting today is APTA products. Click on APTA products. Uh, there it's placed an overview table. Scroll down to have the table on your screen. Um, especially there, the sinted models is in this column, and on the other column, there are examples of composite or pano models. So, if you click on one cell, you will find yourself in the model. Click on it, we will be redirected. Click on the redirection link. And now we are on Microsoft Photosynth. Sometimes it takes a while, depending on your internet speed. We expand to full screen in this button here. And now we are going to the first exercise. It's zoom in and zoom out. There are two different methods. You can use for zooming in, zooming out, the plus and minus on the navigation bar. An example here, we are zooming in Villa Rosa and zooming out again. For the second zoom in method, I put two comparison examples. Big screen up to small screen Google Earth. You just click on the screen with the mouse and you apply the mouse wheel. In this example, just observe the stairs. In Google Earth, you do not see any stairs. Everything turns into two dimensions. Everything is flat. This visual information can be even misleading. I put another example, same location, different angle. The huge difference is the third dimension. I believe this comparison is evidence enough about the advantages of spherical models compared with conventional aerial photos or satellite images. The differences can save human lives, and in disaster management, especially disaster response, or in disaster risk reduction for an urban planner, this information is essential. So now we're coming to moving in the composite panel spherical model. You can move via highlights. Just click on one of the highlights, and you move automatically to the location. Here another example, we are moving to DigiCell. Um, DigiCell building was mentioned earlier in tutorial two. It's one of the telephone companies who survived the, um, the earthquake. You can also use the arrows in the navigation bar to go to the left or you change the direction and you go to the right. We're zooming out a bit to make it a bit more interesting. Now we're going to the left again, and we're moving the direction going to the right. Okay. Now 
Now we can click on the arrow button. This is a special feature which is very sexy. I've heard so, or people say mostly it's cool. Because you can basically fly in the, the spherical model. Just keep your finger on the left hand mouse and direct with the mouse pointer the direction. Now we go flying the other way around again. That's quite fancy. And most of the people like it. And force you can click on the button and then you just push with the mouse or you zoom in and it's the best method if you have zoomed in to move in the photo or in, in the spheric model. And the fifth method is just click on, on the slideshow or the highlight show which moves you from one highlight to the other. Here we are going into, we see the secondary school of Saint-Marie. This is the upper part of Montréal. There's not much to see from this location. And now we're moving to Digicel. It just follows the highlights. Okay, that was all for the composites, spherical models and for the tutorial today, uh, more in tutorial number four, which deals about the spheric model information system. Thanks a lot.